Plus, I started a little bit suddenly, uh, so I was switching from one video to the other. That's okay, this is just the intro. Again, other than the mirror fight, there's not a ton to talk about for each of these fights, but uh, it's good to just have video and uh, see what's coming. And make sure you're just hitting both eyes here whenever you can. I don't know why my computer's been hitching so much lately. Let me just walk right into the boss, though. That'll help. Hello? There we go. It's gonna be a big old cone attack. Don't know how it chooses its aim, but that was nice for me. And see, I wasn't, uh, I was talking and not dealing damage, so we're gonna be here a little bit longer than we needed to be. These vine attacks, the single ones, um, can be per a little tricky if you're not uh, clearing the phase fast enough. Because it's right on you, as you can see. And uh, if you box yourself in a corner, like I may have just done, then you could be in a little bit of trouble. That's the most threatening thing in the fight. I'm talking over that baseline, and then the baseline's gone. There's the bigger cone attack. You can jump over the vines, and you do have jump at this point, which you normally wouldn't. Don't uh, do what I was about to do. Jumped onto the vine. All right, die, Guma, stop the vine. Don't do that. I'm in trouble. Okay. You can sometimes sneak in that gap between um, the boss and the edge. And then the double vines is actually pretty easy. You just stay here and the vines are not gonna circle back around in time. Then I think at this point, the boss can't actually deal damage to you unless you run into it. Oh, no, they're not quite at that phase yet. Now we're at that phase, I'm pretty sure. That was it. But this is not a cutscene, you do have to play it out. There we go. Now we're under the cutscene. You can see the cutscene starts a lot earlier than you might think there. 